Well, everyone, the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 11 have came out a bit of time ago. The iPhone 15 is much newer than the iPhone 11. But let's go and see how both these iPhones compare and hold up in 2024. Now, if you want to pick up some iPhones that I would recommend buying this year, including the iPhone 15, links will be down in the description for the cheapest prices that they can find on Amazon. We'll get them from there, and you can help support the channel at the same exact time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these iPhones, you can clearly see that there's some very, very interesting stuff going on here because they're very different, but there's also some overlap here too. The iPhone 11 on the front has a 6.1 inch Retina IPS panel on it. And it's a good looking panel. You know, when it first came out, I thought it looked great. And it definitely is not like an ugly panel by any means. You know, I think, you know, Apple did a good job with this panel when they first came out, but clearly this thing is not the best looking thing anymore. And there clearly are better panels out there than this thing. The viewing angles aren't the best. It's like 828p or something like that, so it's not that high of a resolution. You can also see that the notch up top is fairly outdated. It's a 60 hertz panel. Actually, both these are 60 hertz panels, so that's kind of interesting. It's not the best panel in the world, but it's not a terrible one either. And you know, they could, you could probably get a better type of panel in some of the newer ones, so kind of keep that in mind. The iPhone 15, on the other hand, on the front, has a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. So this is a significantly better panel in almost every single way. It gets brighter. It gets, you know, it's a very good panel and you have the dynamic island at the very top too. It's still a 60 hertz panel, but you are getting a better looking panel in almost every single way. There's also significantly less bezel around this particular panel as well. So when I look at this particular phone, I am a big massive fan of it. And I do think for the most part, Apple did a much better job with the iPhone 15 than they did with the iPhone 11 for sure. So that kind of covers it up there. In terms of the rest of the bodies, you can kind of tell what's going on here too. And between both, I mean, with the iPhone 15, you're getting this flat side on it. With the iPhone 11, you're getting this curved side on it, which looks very good. I like the way both these phones kind of look and feel from that particular perspective. On the top, not much else going on for the most part. On the bottom, you're getting a lightning port right here and you're getting a USB type C port right here too, which is very, very nice. So I like having lightning, I like having USB-C, but USB-C is so much better. And if you're going from an iPhone 11 to an iPhone 15, this port is probably going to be one of the best ones you can get. It's like my one of my favorite ports for sure. On the back side, you can see that we're getting dual camera setups on both these particular iPhones, which again is very nice. I love having a dual camera setup and you're getting that type of capability on both these iPhones, which again is a very, very cool thing for sure. You're also getting a little bit of an interesting thing because the iPhone 15 has this like frosted glass back, which is very interesting. The iPhone 11 basically has this standard glass back, which is also very nice. So I like having this type of capability, I think for sure when it comes down to it, it's some really, really nice stuff. But the frosted glass back, without a doubt, is like my favorite, and I definitely do like that for sure. So with that, that kind of covers it up on the outside. The iPhone 15 has the MagSafe capability, you're getting IP certification on both phones, wireless charging, all that stuff. But I'll probably tell you when it comes down to it, the iPhone 15 is probably the better one in almost every single way than the iPhone 11. So for the most part, that kind of covers it up here for the most part. Now, on top of that, when it comes down to it, the iPhone 11 is pretty much not really done getting software support. I mean, it's like kind of in this middle of the road where like it might get software support, it might not. So we're kind of like trying to figure out if this phone is still going to be getting software support for the next year or two. But I don't know if this phone's going to be lasting like another two years. There's a chance this phone will still be supported for the time being, which is great. But I don't know how much longer this phone's going to last. So I'd hate for me to like recommend a phone to people if it's already going to be outdated with software. So that being said, we're not 1000% sure what's going to end up happening, but one thing is probably certain, this device is still going to be supported probably for the next year, and even if, it done, if it's done getting software support for the time being, it's still on iOS 17, it's not really that outdated either. So that kind of covers it up there as well. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 11 has an Apple A13 binding chip inside of it with 4GB of RAM, where the iPhone 15 has an Apple A16 binding chip inside of it with 6GB of RAM. So. Let's go see which one's the faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are clear in the background except for this one. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, kind of covers there. Music, three, two, one. Okay, so we are offline here. I don't even get why I'm offline there. It's very annoying. Let's go and get into, uh, let's go into the camera, three, two, one. Let's go and take a photo. So this one is on night mode, this one is not. So it's gonna be a slight difference there for the most part too. Photos, three, two, one iPhone 15 again is a faster one. Clock 321. Okay, covered up there. Let's go get into some of these other ones. So I have a lot of third party applications we can go and get into. So let's get into some. Let's go and try Thank You 321. 
and this one actually was noticeably faster on the iPhone 15. The iPhone 11 like wasn't that far behind either. Hopping out of here, Netflix, three, two, one. Okay, so we didn't have Wi-Fi there, so let's go hop out here. Quizlet, let's go into Temple Run 2, three, two, one. Now with Temple Run 2, like I always state, not the biggest game in the world, but it's still a very, very fun one to test out. You can kind of see about the same thing. There really wasn't that big of a difference. Could be the iPhone 11 Wi-Fi issue. You can kind of see well, the iPhone 11 did look like it was faster. It could be because of the Wi-Fi problem that I kind of mentioned before, so not really too sure. But that is very interesting. The fact that the iPhone 11 still kind of is that great is very, very interesting. Getting into the actual game itself, let's see if there's any big differences. Which, as I always state, I don't think there's going to be these big you know, differences for the most part, but still kind of fun and interesting stuff to kind of test out. You can kind of see what's going on here. More or less kind of the same thing. Hopping out of here. It's going into the original Temple Run, which I don't actually have here. So we can try Stack. 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 15 was faster. iPhone 11 a little bit behind. Getting into the actual gameplay. Let's see what's going on. And again, it looks more or less kind of the same thing. Not really that big of a difference or problem. Hopping out of these two. Let's go and do Snake versus Blocks. 3, 2, 1. And with this one, again, the iPhone 15 is a faster one, and the iPhone 11 is a little bit slower when it comes down to it. So I think overall, the iPhone 11 was very, very surprising to me. I think the iPhone 11 is a very, very good phone. I like that phone a lot. I think the iPhone 15 is a faster one, but there's still a lot of power behind the iPhone 11. So it's kind of crazy when it kind of comes down to it. Now from the camera side, this is also another very interesting thing. Dual camera setups on both. So you're getting 4K 60 on the front and the back, wide and ultra wide cameras. And overall, I'll definitely tell you with these cameras, the iPhone 15 is going to be better. And there's more features built inside of the iPhone 15. But the iPhone 11 was also a very interesting camera. This was one of the first iPhones to bring 4K at 60 on the front and the back, which is very interesting. And you can see right here, we're getting this 5K or 5X zoom. And the inside, outside, if you're zooming out, 0.5X zoom. So still some good stuff. Nothing super insane we haven't seen before. You have video mode, which is nice. Slow mode, time lapse, photo mode, portrait mode, panorama mode. Still some really, really nice stuff. And I definitely do like the iPhone 11 a lot. It's a very, very decent good type of camera. The iPhone 15 also is a very, very nice camera when it comes down to it. It is overall a nicer camera than the iPhone 11. So with something like the iPhone 15, you're basically getting this 0.5x zoom on the outside and then 10x zoom on the inside. So you're getting twice as much zoom on the inside than the outside of the iPhone 11. You're getting video mode, cinematic mode, slow mode, time lapse. You know, video mode, photo mode, portrait mode, panorama mode. Lots and lots of good capability and features behind this camera, which is very nice. And this is overall probably the better camera when it comes down to it than the iPhone 11, without a doubt. So definitely when it comes down to it, I look at a phone like the iPhone 15, and I'm very, very happy with this type of phone. You know, I think it's a very good device. And I do think for the most part, Apple did a really good job with the iPhone 15, and it is significantly better than the iPhone 11. I think the iPhone 11 is still a good phone for some people if you want to buy a phone that's kind of still supported with software and it's still you know pure for a budget type of iPhone I think that's a good option you can probably buy this thing for like less than $200 this is a very decent option from that perspective but if you're wanting the better phone clearly to me it's the iPhone 15 so that pretty much covers it up there if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else I love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.